today. So today what I want to talk about is how to move your Dexcom G6 app from one phone to another. Now this will primarily be on Apple phones as that's what I have so I'm not 100% sure how to do it on others but I thought I would put this out there because I had no idea how to do it whenever I got my new phone. So step one, you're going to open your old phone and you're going to go to the Dexcom app. You're going to go into the transmitter and you click it and you can say, like, forget this transmitter. So that's like the first thing that you have to do. Step two, you're going to go into your old phone's Bluetooth and you're going to forget your transmitter. So forget that device. If you see like multiples, maybe you've had several transmitters, just forget them all. Um, if you do not have your old phone anymore, you simply need to call Dexcom and let them know that you have a new phone, you no longer have your old phone, and they can disconnect that for you in their system. Um, whenever I called, because I didn't know how to do that at first, um, they were they were nice, but they definitely wanted me to do it myself. Like, they told me how to do it, but um, it was kind of like last resort, I guess, for them to do it on their side. I'm sure there's like legal reasons. Um, next step is you're going to delete the app from your phone and then shut it down. So um, on an iPhone, you'll just hold the app until it starts to shake, click the X, then power down the phone so that Dexcom no longer gets any signal from it. And when I say Dexcom, I mean like the company because they're watching you all the time. Believe me, if they can see your info, like it's just crazy the stuff that they can see. Anyway, um, next step, get your new phone, you know, install the app if you haven't already. Now, you're going to connect your transmitter at this point. So if you had already tried this, um, you don't have to disconnect it, but I did because he said it was the best way to make sure it works. So if you've already connected it, just disconnect it, act like it's a new transmitter. So forget it from your Bluetooth. So go into Dexcom G6. Um, so where we have new phone, no transmitter, connect your transmitter. Then um, it'll pair with your Bluetooth. You know, you have to wait the 30 minutes then you can start your sensor. So that is how you're supposed to get the Dexcom G6 app on a new phone um, if you already have it on a previous phone. What happens whenever you don't do it this way is what happens to me uh, or what happened to me. You will get an error and it will say um, it'll say it's starting, you'll wait the whole two hours. For me actually I think it only went for like 30 minutes and it said error. I thought that was really weird that I got a sensor error, and so I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and call. I just think I'm, you know, I think I've done something wrong. I mean, it did say wait up to three hours, but I was like, why would I wait up to three hours when the sensor's not even on? So if that happens to you, you know, you've not started it, you're just trying to get it to work, don't wait. Just call. Um, and the guy was kind of like, well, you just need to wait three hours. And I was like, well, I don't think you understand. I swapped phones. I don't feel like it's working. And then he was like... Oh, I understand. Okay, let me double check for you. He was really polite. So you may just have to let them know that you're on a new phone. You're not sure that you've, you've disconnected from your old phone, that you had an error. So for me, um, he was able to look at it and say, oh, have you disconnected your old phone? And I was like, of course not. Um, I just thought it would work. And he was like, well, if your transmitter is connected to that phone and the app is on there, it will mess up the new app. So I was like, okay. So, um... That's how, and then he walked me through these steps. So that's what they told me. I hope that helps you. This is for the G6, but I'm sure it would be the same for the G5. Um, I don't know anything about the G4 system. I've only had G5 and G6. So I apologize if I can't help you there, but hopefully this will help you if you get a new phone, especially with the iPhone IR and like Google phones and everybody's coming out with phones. So if you're getting a new phone, you might need to know this. So I hope this helps you and have a great day.